How does sculpture help reverse signs of facial aging? Welcome to Dr. Shiner's Medical Minute. Today we're going to talk about what is sculpture and how it works to improve a person's appearance. As we age, our face changes in three dimensions. We grow into our faces until our 20s, and then as we age, our faces start to grow and change in different and not always the most flattering ways. There are two different factors affecting facial aging. The first is something that I speak about often, involves skin aging due to cumulative sun exposure. The second involves volume changes in our face. When we head out of our 20s, the bones in our face start to change. In addition, the structured fat compartments in our face change as well. Certain fat compartments grow and certain ones shrink. The combination of bony and fat compartment changes is responsible for much of the way our face changes as we age. There exists in our faces a certain balance with critical attractive ratios inherent there. As we age, this balance becomes upset and our faces appear older and more tired. This is the place where facial fillers are useful. By adding back facial volume, it's possible to reverse the signs of facial aging. While the traditional hyaluronic acids like Juvederm and Restylin are good in certain facial regions, if a person is missing significant facial volume, Sculpture is often the best answer. Sculpture is poly-L-lactic acid. It's similar to a suture material that we use in surgery called Vicryl. When this dissolvable suture is used, it stimulates collagen formation and makes the wound stronger. Because a deep wound is stronger, we can remove the surface sutures earlier. Sculpture likewise creates new collagen when injected in the skin. It comes as powder that is reconstituted in water and anesthetic. This partial numbing solution with Sculpture is then injected into the face in many areas needing volume restoration. It's not unusual to use 16 to 24 cc's of Sculpture volume per treatment. This is often the proper volume a face would need to restore its volume of youth. The results at the end of the treatment are often jaw-dropping. This is because of the full volume restoration that occurs with adding 16 to 24 cc's of water, anesthetic, and sculpture to a face. Now that water and anesthetic does resorb. <laughs> I often tell my patients that they will have full correction for two days and then the water will resorb and the face will go back to its original state. <laughs> it's like Cinderella and her pumpkin carriage. After midnight <laughs> or after two days, it turns back to a pumpkin and the face returns back to its pre-treatment state. Then the magic happens. The small particles of sculpture land wherever the sculpture solution was originally injected. The body then finds those particles and makes collagen around them. This results in a partial restoration of that original result right after the injection. Each week, the face grows back more and more of its natural collagen. People often ask my patients what they're doing because they keep looking younger and younger as they regain their lost volume of youth. They often call this treatment looking better gradually. After two months, most people regrow about one-third of the initial result. They then get another sculpture treatment. It usually takes between two to four treatments to get the full correction, and then it can last two to five years. My patients and I enjoy the results that sculpture can achieve in full facial volume restoration. It's wonderful restoring back the volume of youth. Take a look at this patient before and after her sculpture treatment. This is also a great treatment for men. If you would like to learn about Sculptra, please contact my office for information. I hope you found this interesting, and I invite you to come back and watch again for our next Medical Minute. Goodbye for now, and I wish each of you a beautiful day.